Welcome to this behind the board on mixing vocals with effects. So we're going to start doing some delays, some reverbs, all that fun stuff on the vocals now. Uh, let's start out uh, just by getting our delays right. Let's do that. Let's get that all set. Uh, and then we'll move on to making ourselves a nice a vocal reverb bus. So here we go um, with the delays. Let's start out with the top vocal. We'll go to plug in. We'll go to delay and we'll go to mod delay three. Uh, let's solo it out and get a nice little delay level and then we'll take a listen to it in the mix because that's going to be very important as we're not at our final mix stages right now, but we want to hear what it's going to sound like after we finish up uh, with our, our vocal bus and all that stuff. I want to get an idea uh, that we want to get an idea of where we are. I don't want to put on reverb and delay and it just sound like too much or too little uh, and have to redo it at the end. So I want to get it pretty close now. So let's take that mix down uh, probably to about five. Uh, we're not going to go too crazy on these main vocals with delay, uh, but we'll have some fun in the bridge section. That's going to be a good time. Uh, and then we'll put the feedback. I'm going to put the feedback right around 20. Let's hear what we're working with here. Oh, look, we didn't set this. I'm going to set that to eighth notes. This is the worst, best thing that I ever did. Say something I can't take back. So it feels like there's a lot there. But now if we unmute this, let's see if it still feels like there's a lot or there's some uh, cool depth to the the uh, vocal. There's It's one or the other. This is the worst, best thing that I ever did. Oh. Say something I can't... Let me get rid of those background vocals. I don't want to hear you guys yet. Get out of there. I'm just taking them all down to negative infinity. I want to just focus on that one vocal I'm working on. This is the worst, best thing I ever did. Say something I can't take back. I'll always need my medicine. We sit so it's really important for us to actually hear it in context because you can see if you were just listening to that solo and you'd say, oh boy, there's a lot of a lot of delay on it, it feels weird. You get it into the mix and it starts to have a little more depth to it uh, and it starts to kind of blend a little better because you have a slight amount of delay on it. So I'm liking what we got there. We could always adjust if you think it's a little too wet, bring that down to 2%. You know, we get it down a little more. But I'm going to leave it there for now. And let's go on to our vocals light. I'm going to just copy this down. We're probably going to use the same delay settings for all the areas except for the bridge. Uh, the bridge, I just have some fun little ideas for us. The air in my lungs, it weighs my whole body down. Feeling pretty good like that. Let's see if it sounds good with the song. The air in my lungs, it weighs my whole body down. I'm going to give it a tiny, tiny bit more. Right up to seven. The air in my lungs, it my no, you know what? We're going back to five. I liked it better there. Sometimes you just got to experiment, but that, that sounded better at five. I don't like it ringing at me too much. Uh, let's move on to the chorus. We're just going to paste that over to our chorus, make sure it sounds good. Um, we'll mute the backgrounds and everything. Get rid of those guys. Just listen to the one we're working on. I think we got it. That's enough there. Um, since uh, there's a lot of ways to do chorus vocals, I'm going to do this uh, with my main vocal just on top of my duplicate vocal. Sometimes you can split this. So the guys like to do this at maybe uh, 30 left and 30 right. If, if you're going to split it, uh, you, you definitely want to make sure you have the exact same delay on both of them. Uh, if you're going to use it as kind of a pad to lift up the other one, you could kind of do it without delay. Uh, and that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to leave the delay off uh, because I'm going to have this one up the middle louder than this one. So that's all it's going to be. This track will be louder than this track. This track will just be used for padding. I don't want any more uh, delay or anything going on that track. It'll be a little too much for me. Uh, let's move over to our background vocals. I want to add the same delay we had, just uh, pop on a little bit extra for the BVs. So I want them to have a little more depth. And we remember, we hit them pretty hard with the compressors. So when we get a setting here, it's not going to uh, go nuts on certain notes or something like that where it gets louder. It's kind of going to be the same the whole way through. 
because uh, you'll hear the delay a lot more if something gets hit real hard the delay will happen uh, a little bit louder on it of course so uh, that's not the case for this section Cool. So we got some cool depth there. That's what I want to get. I'm going to paste that down everywhere. So just hold on to your Alt Option key and paste that down to all the background vocal tracks. That's what we're looking for. And we're good there. Okay, so we're going to go over to the bridge now because I want to do some bridge effects. Uh, let's take a listen to what we have here to begin with. Let me unmute this. We've lost the road again. All right, cool. What I wanted to do is let's make a duplicate again. So click your Vox Bridge, right click it, and make yourself a duplicate by clicking duplicate. And we want one duplicate. We're going to do a manual delay and then we are going to create a cool filter on it. Uh, but just follow along with me here. Change your grid mode to quarter notes. Make sure you're in grid mode. Click up there, press F4, and head down to that section. So we're right at about bar 67, one minute and 58 seconds into the song here. We've lost the road again. So I would like We've Lost the Road again to repeat twice. So I'm going to copy, grab and copy, and I'll paste it. Let's try right around here. I think that'll work. We've lost the road again. We've lost the road again. Perfect. Now this second, the secondary take here, I want to sound uh, a little more in the background. I want to give it that like radio filter sound. So we're going to go to plugin, to EQ, to EQ37 band, and we're going to make a radio filter by using this high pass filter first. Put that at 12, bring it up to about 300, and get your low pass filter. Set that at 12, bring it down. Uh, probably to about 1.7k. Uh, now give yourself a little bit of a push right around there. Right around there on your, on your yellow one. You don't have to adjust the cue too much. You've got a little bit of a push right around there. And let's hear what we got. Just solo out that section and play it back. We've lost the road again. Exactly what we're looking for. So now what we have is this. We've lost the road again. We've lost the road again. We've made ourselves a cool little effect, but now we want delay on both these guys. Um, and I want some extra delay on both of these guys. I think they could have a little bit more depth to them. So I'm going into my delay mod delay three, and I'll make that adjustment now. I'm going to bring this up to around 7% and put it on those eighth notes and bring my feed back up to 20. Let's take a listen to the first one. We've lost the road again. Yeah, that feels great there. And now copy this down to the bottom one. And we have a little bit more work to do on the bottom one because I want that delay to kind of uh, control that bottom one a little bit more than it did the top one. We've lost the road again. Yeah, that's too little. So let's bring that up to 18. We've lost the road again. Yeah, I want that delay to be part of this part. We've lost the road. Fantastic. Let's take a listen to that, see if we got something here. We've lost the road again. We've lost the road again. And I can't count the second chances we've been given. Fantastic. I really like that part. It was a cool little ad. Uh, when we get to getting levels, I'm probably going to pan this over a little bit to the right, do something like this. Uh, I have it panned 50% to the right. We've lost the road again. We've lost the road again. So now it sounds even more distant. So we're playing with all the vertical stuff by using this, this delay, and then we're playing with the horizontal stuff, all the pan, uh, really making it into an interesting little part here. But very cool, we got delays on everything. Let's make our reverb bus here, uh, and then we should be pretty much set on effects here. So go to the bottom of this, hit your BVR Pre 2, uh, so that we can bring a new track in that is a stereo uh, aux track. Stereo aux input, fantastic. Create it, name it vocal reverb.
and toss on the reverb plugin we've been working with. And like I said, I've said this a few times, feel free to try the other ones, the air reverb and stuff like that. Sounds very nice. Uh, we're just working with the D-verb, getting you used to it. So you want to be on 100% wet. We'll start in this hall. We'll see if it feels nice. Um, and let's get an input bus. So our bus for the input will be 910. And remember with these, we're not going uh, with our IO outs, we're going with our sends into 910. So we want all of these to go into 910. And with vocals, you generally want them to be about the same area as they enter 910. You know, you don't want to have uh, the same type of spread we had going on with the drums where we were doing some drums that had uh, higher, hotter sends and lower sends and, and so on. Over here, I'm just going to do my bus send to 910. I'm going to put it at zero and just paste it everywhere. Now, later on, if you decide that you want a little more reverb on this Vox bridge section or something like that, you feel free to come right back in this plugin and put it up a little bit. You could do that. Um, you'll also be able to go into the actual reverb section. So when we have that aux track going, remember we can control the amount of reverb that's going on just by uh, adjusting the volume of the aux track. So if you're not getting enough reverb in a certain section, you could automate that up, uh, which is a big help as well. So I'm just going to paste these everywhere. And this is just that alt option trick that we've been doing over and over. And let's hear what we got going on here. We've lost the road again. And I've been using just the basic large hall for most of these uh, now because you could dig into this and really have some fun with, with the plugin itself. Uh, but this hall sounds good to me. I'm not going to go too nuts. I'm going to make it a medium hall for this uh, just because I don't want it to be so big uh, on the vocal. Uh, but play around, find one that you like. This is the worst, best thing that I ever did. Say something I Good. That's, that sounds great to me. And I'm just going to take down the volume here to get it to a level that sounds right because it's very loud right now. You know, there's a lot of reverb going on. This is the worst, best thing I ever did. Say something. Way more like it. I'll take it down just a tiny, tiny bit more. Uh, I'm going to go negative about 15 with it. And that is that. We have our vocal effects set. Now we're going to do our bus and uh, uh, start actually putting this song together. We're real close to getting our first mix. All right, thanks for being with me on this one. I'll see you in the next one.